Hello everyone, it's Sandra and welcome to today's video. I thought it would be fun for my first video back in 2023 to be Project Pan. Always look forward to doing it every single year and every single year at the beginning of the year, I set out to use up 10 makeup items from my collection and I focus on using them up throughout the year. If it's a particular product that I'm not able to finish, by the end of the year, um, if it's still good, if I still like it, I just roll it over to the next year. Now before we dig into the products that I'm setting out to use up in 2023, I thought we would do a quick glance at Project Pan 2022 and see how, how it went. I don't actually have the empties here because I usually, as I use products up throughout the year, whether they're in my Project Pan or just regular items that I'm running out of. I do empties videos regularly throughout the year. So if I use up any products that happen to be in my project pan, I do show them when they're empty. I do show them in my empties and new products videos. I didn't save the actual project pan empties, but if you want to see them, if you want to see what other products I use up throughout the year, I have a playlist of all my empties and new products videos. The product Project Pan 2022 items that I used up were the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in shade Bond Girl, which has since been rebranded and it's now called MI Kiss. I used up the Lila B bronzer and Lila B has since gone out of business, so rest in peace Lila B. I used up the Armani Neo Nude Foundation. I used up the Trini London Tinted Moisturizer, the BFF Tinted Serum. I used up the Pat McGrath Foundation. Um, using up foundations was one of my main goals of 2022. I really wanted to focus on using up a lot of complexion products and I stopped buying as many new ones because it's a makeup category that I have a problem with. I love buying and trying new foundations and concealers. I also used up the uh, Chantecaille Luster. Luster was a gorgeous product. It was like a little squeeze tube, blush topper, highlighter type of product. I really, really loved that product. I used up the Sephora Melting Lip Click and Shade Caramel, which is another product that's been discontinued. It was a gorgeous product. And the Burberry Kisses Lip Gloss. It was just this beautiful pink shimmery shade. And um, that's also discontinued. So those are all the products that I used up. The one product that I had to declutter was the Burberry Pink Heather eyeshadow. It was their cream to powder eyeshadow formula. And I love that product so much. I did manage to actually hit pan on it, but... It just, it was really, really old and I I was using it and it started giving me like dermatitis and irritation on my eyes. So I learned the hard way that that product actually went bad. So I had to declutter it. And then the two products that I was not able to use up, but they're still good. I still like them and I will be carrying them over into my Project Pan 2023 are the Sicily, the Sicily Blur Expert Powder. I did hit pan on it. So we have a nice little pan in the middle to show for it. And I think the reason why I haven't used this product up yet is because it's fussy. It's not a setting powder, it's a finishing powder. So you use this after you've already set your face and it does work beautifully at blurring out texture, at smoothing out pores, smoothing out fine lines. The tint of it, it can be quite strong and especially when I'm at my fairest, I feel like this can kind of shift the tone of my complexion. So I, I don't love that. It works really well as a touch-up powder, but I can't be bothered to lug around a touch up powder with me. Then I have to worry about taking a little brush with me or if I have to take a little powder puff with me and then I have to take a little makeup bag or makeup pouch so that you know the brush doesn't get all mangled and dirty with the inside of my purse. Throughout the day, if I get oily, I usually just use blotting sheets. You know, I love the Tatcha blotting sheets. They're really slim and easy to just slide into any bag. I don't have to worry about carrying a brush with me or anything, so yeah. Works well as a touch-up powder, but I'm not really a touch-up powder kind of gal. And um, yeah, will I be able to use this up this year? I think so. I think now that, I, especially as I finally hit pan on it, I will be able to use it up. And it is a beautiful product. It does do what it says. It does blur. But yeah, it's just kind of fussy. Not my favorite, but I do like it. So I'm carrying this over. And then the other product that I'm Actually, I'm actually really surprised that I haven't hit pan on it yet. I feel like I st I'm starting to see a baby pan forming and it's the Becca bronzer. Becca, rest in peace, does not exist anymore either. And it's the, um, I love their bronzer so much. And this is the Capri Coast 
bronzer. I think I'm starting to see a little pan forming. I use this all the time. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I will be sad to see this go. It just has the most beautiful tone, the most beautiful sheen, and I love this bronzer. So this will be carried over to 2023. In terms of complexion products, I have two complexion products that I would like to use up this year, and I would especially like to use these up before I buy something new. So my, my personal goal, especially in this first quarter of the year, is to use up these two products before I buy another new foundation. And if you are a foundation lover, a foundation hoarder like I am, this is a really great exercise to do because, especially at this time of the year, because this is when the foundation launches are coming, right? This is when it's the most tempting. It's a new year, spring, you know, we're looking ahead at spring, and this is when most brands kind of slot in their complexion launches. I love, I love these products. They're just, they're quite old, so that's kind of how I selected them. I, I picked the oldest complexion products in my collection, and I want to use them up before they go bad. So I have the, this is my last backup of the By Terry Sheer Expert Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations on the planet. It sadly got discontinued, and when it got discontinued, I, I went crazy. I never do do this normally. I'm usually pretty good, and I don't really get buy backups of stuff, but this I bought backups of. I had like three backups of it, and I'm down to my last backup, but I want to use it up before it goes bad because this one just this was got discontinued in like 2019, so it's old. It's still, you know, obviously it was it was sealed and still fresh. Thankful for for preservatives, but um, yeah, I want to use this up and enjoy it in all its glory before it's it's gone forever. So this is in my project pan, and then I also have the Shantikai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. I love this tinted moisturizer. It's a tinted moisturizer with SPF. So these products usually, you know, they do have an expiry date on them. This expires this year at the end of the year, so I will like to use this up by the end of the year. You also get almost double the amount. Usually complexion products like foundations, um, the average amount is 30 milliliters and this has, has 50 in it. So I feel like that's why it's been, it's been the gift that keeps on giving, but I love this and I would like to use this up. And then I also have my Jouer Cream Bronzer that I really love, but again, it's a cream product. It's getting kind of old and I don't want it to go bad. I want to be able to enjoy it. Still smells good. It's a double-ended product. So we have a cream bronzer on one end, a highlighter at the other end. I'll be honest, not crazy about the highlighter. I don't use it often, but the bronzer is so, so gorgeous. So this is the shade Sunset Skinny Dip. Sunset is the name of the bronzer. Skinny Dip is the name of the highlighter. I just have a little tiny little nub left, so I would love to use this up. Now, I want the focus of my project pan this year to be lip products. I have so many lip products that I really, really love, and I want to be able to enjoy them and use them up before they go bad. Some of these I was hanging on to because they are discontinued, which is such a bad habit to do, especially with a lip product, like a lip product, a cream cheek product, a foundation product. Even if it's discontinued, don't save it for best, use it up because otherwise it will be expired. So then you're wasting the product, you're wasting the ability to enjoy the experience of using the product while it's still good. So I have here three of um, the Burberry Lip Velvet Crush. Is that what this was called? It's honestly a miracle that these are still good. They still smell totally fine. They still perform well. It's the most beautiful, comfortable, liquid lip, but it's not really a liquid lip because it's not, it's not drying at all. I think they call it a lip stain. They call it a sheer matte stain, but it's so elegant. It's not like a regular stain. You can also use this on the cheeks as a, like a liquid blush. I absolutely love this product. So I have it in three shades and I would like to use up at least one of them this, this year, if not all three of them. I'm actually wearing the shade Cinnamon right now. Sometimes you can still get these on the Burberry website, so I'm not sure what's happening with, with these, but I love them. So I have the shade Cinnamon, I have the shade Honey Nude, and I have the shade uh, Nude Pink, and I love them all, and I would love to use them up. 
this year. And the other lip product that I really, really love, I have two of these, and this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. One of my favorite lipstick formulas. These are not discontinued, they're still around. They're just old and I don't want them to go bad. These are the Surratt Lip Sleeks and it's a beautiful, sheer, but buildable lipstick formula with a shiny finish. They're very comfortable. They don't have any added fragrance to them. They are very similar um, in terms of, of the formula. They're similar to the Dior Addict lipsticks and they're similar to the Chantecaille Lip Sheeks. So if you like those lip formulas, you will really like this. I also love the sleek packaging. One annoying thing though is that you have to be careful because you, you can roll them up, but you can't roll them back down. So only click up and, and roll up as much product as you will use. Otherwise, if you roll it up too much, you can't roll it back down and then you end up losing the product. So the two shades I have here are Gamine, which is a beautiful peachy pink. This is actually very similar to the Dior Addict lipstick in the shade Mimi Rose that I bought last year. And because of that, I've kind of gotten distracted by that and I've been neglecting this. And then the other shade is Paramore, which is very, very close in color to the Lisa Eldridge lipstick in the shade Le Mepris. So again, I feel like once I bought that Lisa Eldridge lipstick, I kind of got distracted and I was just using that. And I have, you know, I have this, which is essentially the same color in an older formula. And I would like to use these up and enjoy them before they go bad because they really are beautiful, beautiful lip products. Um, but that's the thing, you know, we're, we're always distracted by the new thing. And even if the new thing is so similar to something we already own, we tend to kind of grab the new when we're getting ready, right? So this is just a gentle reminder to go through your, your lip products, pick out the oldies, see if they're still good, put it out, you know, put it in your handbag, put it on your desk at work, put it on your vanity, put it somewhere where you can see it. So that's it for those lipsticks. And then the last lip product is this uh, Lisa Eldridge lip gloss in the shade Affair. And these lip glosses are good for three years and I'm approaching the expiry date. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I'll put some on right now. I'll be honest though, the lip, the lip gloss formula from Lisa Eldridge is not my favorite. I think they're just, I think I personally prefer my lip glosses to not be as pigmented. This is a very pigmented lip gloss formula. So I think that's why I don't reach for it as often. I've definitely been encouraging myself to use this up more because I love the color. I just need to put it somewhere where I can see it every day and I can, I can figure out a way to incorporate it into my routine more regularly. Finally, I have the Rowan Eye Quads. I'm counting this as one because, again, these are getting up there in age. These were all... I think these were all purchased in 2019 and these are cream products. It's honestly a miracle that they haven't gone bad yet. They're still fine. I did buy this um, Inglot Duraline, which is, it's supposed to help give your cream shadows a bit of extra moisture. So if you have things like MAC paint pots that are getting a little bit dry, just like a couple drops of this product tends to kind of rehydrate them and, and make them perform. If I hit pan on at least one of my favorite shades in each of these quads, that would make me really happy. So that's kind of my loose goal for the year. I have here the 52 degrees quad, which is uh, is really gorgeous. This is the shade that I'm actually wearing today from this quad. These two are, are my favorite shades from this quad. So if I can hit pan on either one of these, that would be wonderful. From the 75 degrees quad, this is my favorite shade. So again, if I can hit pan on this, that would be delightful. From the 1111 quad, if I can hit pan on this shade, I would be very, very happy. Even though I have three quads here, I kind of have a little goal for each one. So I'm just counting this as one of the 10 slots in, in my project pan. So we have one, two, three, four. I'm counting these 
three as as one as well because I mean if I can use all three up I would be ecstatic but my goal is to use up at least one so I'm counting this as one slot so that's slot number five slot number six is the cream bronzer slot number seven number eight number nine and number ten so those are the ten goals that I have for Project Pan 2023. How did you do with your Project Pan last year? Were you successful? Did you have to carry anything over to this year? Let me know. And as always, I encourage you to do this. If you are a fellow beauty influencer and you're watching this and you want to do it, please do and do a video on it. I'm dying to watch it. I love Project Pan content. Some of you like to tag me on Instagram whenever you're using up a product and that always makes me so happy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's focus on enjoying and, and using up what we have for 2023. If you just want to write it down in the comments, let me know what products you want to use up for this year. I'm more than happy to read it and encourage you along the way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.